Hello friends, I am Amir Ali Nizami and today we are going to see the analysis of sandwich functionally graded material structure. So in the last class we have seen the single layer functionally graded plates and today we will see multi layer uh, functionally graded plates or three layer functionally graded plates. So here we, uh, we can see this uh, image is shown for the functionally graded sandwich plates. So we will just see a quick review. In the last class, what we have studied that for a single layer, uh, this was functionally graded single layer plates, single layer plates, where we have seen that the bottom face was metal that was having metallic properties or metallic deposits at this position and at the top it was ceramic deposit okay. and the material properties were varying from this metallic to uh, sorry in make from this metallic to ceramic and this variation from metallic to ceramic was having the EM, Young's modulus as EM, that is modulus of elasticity of the metal at this position, EM plus EC, that is the ceramic property, minus EM into BM. Okay. okay. This was our formula we have seen that this material properties are Young's modulus at any position V. As we can see it is you can see it is X and this is along the Z axis, positive Z axis. So and this is along the Y axis of the plate. So, so it's a single layer plate, so therefore it's metallic and top is ceramic and the variation is following this formula. Okay. Z equals to EM. So where we have seen that if EM plus EC minus EM into this VM was written as 2Z plus H upon 2H to the power K. This is missing but that is VM. Okay. So what is VM called? VM is called as volume fraction volume fraction to the thickness of plate and k is nothing but that's the coefficient or index and em and you see em is the Young's modulus of Young's modulus of metal and EC, EC is Young's modulus of ceramic, Young's modulus of ceramic. Okay. So we have also seen if the K value was 0, which is a coefficient K equals, equals to 0, then this whole will become 1, okay, it will be 1, then P of V will be equals to EM plus EC minus EM into 1 and this is 1 therefore EM plus EC minus EM this will get cancelled it will equals to EC only so when K is equals to 0 this is completely ceramic ok so we can say that this plate would completely be ceramic if k is equals to 0 and if the k you can say completely ceramic and if k is varying or k is tends to very large or infinity or we can say very large value then we can say the properties are dominating by the metallic only and if the material properties is varying from 0 to some large value then we can say it's a functionally graded plate where the bottom is metal deposit 
and the top is ceramic deposit. Okay, and the variation is following this formula. Now, what happens that sometimes uh, in space uh, space jet or uh, in submarines, many places they require the functionally graded sandwich plates. Okay, and that sandwich plates are such that it is made in this way. Okay, or let me draw it in next page. We draw here sandwich, sandwich, functionally graded. So we will see case one where and third one. So this is metallic case, this is ceramic case, okay. and this is core. So here we are taking in this case two isotropic, two isotropic case and one functionally graded core. So the face, this and this is isotropic. So we can say it is isotropic, isotropic, and this is also isotropic, and this is functionally graded core. Okay. And this is x, and this we can say along the axis. And we are taking the numbering of lamina plate from bottom one, this is two, and this is three. So, for this case, if you will say the volume fraction, how it would be written, volume fraction of the first layer, that is the bottom one, that would be equals to 0. Okay. And then, the volume fraction of the core, core that is for the layer 2, that would be equals to V by H plus half the power N. And then the third one that is Vn see for the ceramic part this would be equals to one. Okay. So this is written such that it can satisfy the formula E G equals to E metallic plus E C minus E M into V N. So, if you will see for the first part, you can say here that it's layer for, okay, let us take layer 1, layer 1 is bottom 1, that is metallic 1. So, what would be the, for the first layer? E metallic plus EC minus E metallic into Vn. Vn is what? Vn for the first layer is 0, we will just put 0. Then what would be here? Only Em. Means for the first layer, layer 1, it is completely properties having metallic part. Then for the second layer, we will see layer 2. That is called 4. Okay. Then if you will write the material properties, it is Em plus Ec minus Em into Vn and Vn is varying that is V by H plus half to the power n and this is just like we have seen as a single layer how it was varying from top bottom to top okay so here it is metallic part and top is ceramic part so it is varying like that only okay and then layer third that is the ceramic one okay ceramic part so how it's varying 
we will write the formula em plus ec minus em into vn and v for the third layer is 1 so what would we have here em plus ec minus em 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 is the function it would be ec only so for the third layer the real properties will be completely ceramic okay so the properties will change with this shape so we will see now we will see the code match and code okay okay we will just see the code here so here is the, it's a code written and uh, that is uh, from the paper monthly okay and it's from semi material sandwich plates and uh, the function fg function is here written g cube minus 7 g h square by 8 and gv function is written like this okay and uh, the problem is here a powerly graded sandwich plate problem is here and uh, this is composed where thickness of the bottom okay that is 0.1 h and the top skin ceramic ht is 0.1 h and the core thickness is 0.8 h okay and the material properties are given for the bottom is metallic then top that is the ceramic properties and poison ratio is here itself. so before that we can see the paper also so here it is a paper by that monthly which we are going to follow right now okay it's written here where it has given the formula and two graded plates and uh, here it's written the formula for that and for the first layer he has written is zero and for the core layer it is here and the for the third layer this is one and we are going to see the results for that and we will run the code for this paper so let's run so enter the number of composite plates lamina so we will have three plates so i should write here not composite but should be functionally graded but let's run it and total height let us take uh, height as 1.0 then Ten length along x ten length along y is also ten and uh, the thickness of first layer so we want zero point one times one and the fourth second layer is four that is point eight eight times one and the third one is again uh point one times one so let's see it is running i think it will take some time in the meantime you will see the code okay is the function here given for the monthly every function and gg function every t is the every prime derivative of that function and then the material properties are given for the ceramic and the metal and the poison ratio is also given here and this q value is calculated for that q1 q2 q3 and kg weight is nothing but the coefficient which we are taking here as k okay so this is was g by h plus something so that was this only and I think the results we get here okay so we can see from here at the bottom uh, or the first layer this was a constant uh, means zero so we can see this is zero throughout the thickness of the plate uh, vg is zero and then it's varying accordingly okay and then vg is 1 at this position we can see that v, v of g is 1 at this position okay so for the thickness of that third layer which is from 0.4 to 0.5 it is constant okay 
and here also minus 0.5 to minus 0.4 it is also constant so here it is completely metallic properties and here it is completely ceramic properties and in between the variation is like this if k is equals to 1.5 here it is like this k equals to 1 then it is linearly varying okay and as k is less than 1 so we can see the variation is like this and for the minimum if k equals to 0.1 okay like this. similarly here it's the shear in plane shear stress tau x y okay so here we will see that uh, when the material properties is changing uh, from this metallic part to going to the top okay and then it's becoming ceramic part so at this position at the interface uh, there is a slight fast variation or rapid variation okay so it is observed in this uh, sandwich case okay here we can also observe for the sun values uh, it's also observed here Similarly, for this shear stress to MAGZ, we are also observing at this position there is a slight rapid variation. Sigma GZ, then it's sigma YY. Okay. Sigma XX, and then it's transverse displacement. u2 and then u1 so we have seen for the sandwich plates okay that is all so we will close here thank you